Over the next few weeks, the source will highlight the work being done by the team at REACH Niagara. REACH launched in 2018 with the goal of removing the obstacles to health care that a growing number of Niagara residents are facing. So the biggest barriers that we hear is, you know, um, transportation. You know, we are such a geographically spread region in Niagara, so people to actually physically even get to health care services. We hear about people don't have health cards. That's a really big barrier. Uh, for people, and so we don't require a health card. Keeping appointments, uh, that is a really big thing because when you have a lot of chaos or other things going on in your life, it's hard to keep appointments. And then the biggest thing is for us, the barriers, is trust. Um, a lot of folks that we uh, support, they have um, not been treated necessarily the best in our healthcare system. And so they're really fearful and they're really hesitant to go and get basic healthcare services, where for us it's removing that barrier and creating an environment that is safe and trustworthy for them. It used to be the doctor was alone on our mobile clinic or in a shelter. Now we've got staff with us. You saw Jamie out there on our mobile unit. We've got a couple of staff, including a counselor and a, uh, a community worker that helps support people getting connected with healthcare. Um, so it's a lot less isolated, it's a lot less lonely, and people have other resources right on site where they can get connected with the care that they need. So it, it, there's, to me, it's been a big shift in terms of the on-site care. And then behind the scenes, from being a very tiny organization led by you know, Dr. Carl and a couple of friends, it's, uh, we've got a full board of directors with excellent people and a wide skill set to kind of advise on the direction of the organization. The challenges that our clients are facing are pretty significant um, and complex. So there's so many factors contributing to their current situation, right? Like they're struggling with homelessness, they're often struggling with mental health and, and sometimes substance use. Um, and those pieces of trying to kind of best support them when they don't have their basic needs met. Right. So doing like talking about their mental health or talking about their substance use and the goals they have around that stuff, um, we can work on it. But it's so challenging because um, they lack that access to, to housing, um, to, to food, right, to, to financial assistance sometimes. So it's, it's harder to get the long term gains. Right. It's quite varied. We provide primary care at the end of the day. So there's a lot of primary care focused um, visits coughs, colds and infectious illnesses, diabetes care, hypertension. Um, but here at the shelter, we, we do see a lot of more complex mental health and, and addictions care as well. It's a pretty tight workspace in there. How do you, <laughs> yes. how do you make it happen? Um, it, it's surprising what they can fit into a sprinter van, actually. Like pretty much it's a, it's a complete, like well-run working clinic. Um, sometimes just getting by one another is a bit tight, but you get used to it. Those that visit a REACH clinic do so with a wide range of health concerns, as well as barriers to more traditional forms of treatment. He was concerned about how I felt, uh, my well-being, um, my medication. He didn't give me a hard time. He did all the research right away quickly and he got me right back on track with my meds because I didn't have them for about two weeks. And uh, I was all over the place, especially with ADHD and OCD and raising two kids on my own and being in a shelter. <laughs> it was pretty hard. A lot going on there. A lot going on. How are you and your kids doing now? Great. Fantastic. Uh, we have an apartment now. Um, kids are doing great. They're stable. They have friends in school. Um, it's, I have a good place. And it's, it, yeah, it was hard. It was really hard. Those who have received care from REACH also help to deliver an important message to others. It is the most powerful way of promotion. You know, we are on social media, we actively work with our community partners to promote, but the most powerful is that word of mouth amongst community members, because they talk with one another. They have a community and say, you can go to that place, they'll listen to you. And that's the most important thing is we listen, we validate, and we do something to help them.